Hello everyone, this is Hermendi Suri from Toronto Drivers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to book a road test online. So stay tuned till the end of this video to know how you can book a road test or how you can reschedule a road test. So there are three ways to book a road test. Number one is you can go to the drive test center and get a road test booked right at the center. But that takes a long time. Sometimes it can take take from two to three hours and you don't want to wait there too long. The other option, the second option is to book the road test on the phone. Well, that again is a long wait. Sometimes it's 30 to 45 minutes. And the last option and the most convenient option is to book a road test online. And that is what I'm going to show you in this video. So in order to book the road test, you want to go on Google and type book a road test. When you type book a road test, this is what you're going to see. So what you want to do is you want to click on drivetest.ca when you click on that that link this is what's gonna show up well alternatively you can also type in drivetest.ca in the web browser and it will bring you to this page directly when you're on this page what you want to do is you want to click on this obvious green button that says book a road test and then it brings you to this page which says provide your email address before booking. Now if you have never done any registration or any booking online before then, the, then for the first time you will need to register by entering your email address and confirming the email address and then entering your driver's license number and the expiry date. Now about the expiry date. Expiry date is something a lot of people have confusion with and I'm, I'm going to explain that later in this video so please make sure you watch the expiry part license expiry part really carefully so that you know you you can get to the page where you can book the road test so after you've entered that information what you need to do is you need to click on submit when you click on submit it will say that a verification email has been sent to you and uh, you need to check the email address that you entered here to see if you have received they're pretty quick within seconds you receive an email from them and when you receive that email it's going to look like this and you want to click on uh, the verify link and when you click on the verify link it will take you to a page where it will ask you to enter your driver's license information once again and when you do that uh, you're good to go. You're ready to book the test. Well, that was for someone who's trying to book the test for the first time. They have never registered before. Well, if you have already registered, like, you know, let's say you register today and uh, you book your road test and tomorrow you decide to reschedule your road test. You, well, you don't have to go through this lengthy procedure of entering your email address and then driver's license number and the expiry date. What you can do is you can directly click on this link which says edit an existing road test when you click on that it will only ask you for your driver's license number and dr your driver's license expiry date now i told you that i'll tell you what expiry date you should enter well for anyone who has a plastic license a card license it's very straightforward you just pick up the expiry date and uh, you enter that but if you're doing the test for the first time if you have a paper license then it can be really tricky and uh, a lot of people are not able to book the test because of that so i'm going to show you how you can book it if you have a paper license the temporary license so let's say on the temporary license the issue date is 15th of may 2019 so the expiry date, if you look at the expiry date, if you have the paper license right now, you, you can actually validate it. So the expiry date on the temporary license 
is usually 90 days from the date it was issued so the temporary license is only valid for 90 days and because they know that you know within 90 days you're going to receive a plastic the plastic card which will have uh, an expiry date of you know five years from the date of issue so 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 that expiry date is something you don't want to put in in this box here uh, when you're trying to book the test what you want to do is since you don't have a plastic card what you want to do is you want to add five years from the date of issue of the temporary license and then enter that expiry date so for instance in this case we had taken the issue date as 15th of may 2019 now what i'm going to do is i'm going to um try to enter 15th uh, well what you can do is you can enter 15th of august 2024 um, as the expiry date so when you're trying to book the test you want to enter the expiry date that is five years from the date of issue so in this case um, the expiry date would be 15th of may 2024 five years from 2019 now sometimes the the 15th may not work so you want to try one or two days um uh, before or after you know you can also try 14th of may 2024 or you can try the 26th of may 2024 so one out of these three dates should work um well it, that's that's been my experience it should work there's like 90 98 percent chances well if it doesn't then you can always call uh the the telephone line the help desk and try to book the test and when you try to book the test you know you can always ask them what the expiry date is so that if you want to reschedule it online then uh, you can always uh, use that expiry date to book the road test or to reschedule the road test so that's about the expiry date on the license okay so the other thing i forgot to tell you was when you enter the car driver's license number or the expiry date you don't have to enter dashes or slashes uh, when you're entering the information you can straight away enter the card number the license number or the expiry date and it will automatically take the format so af after you enter that information and you click on the submit button it's going to bring you to this page which says um you have no road test booked at this time so if you want to book a road test you want to click on this link which says book your road test when you click on that link it's going to give you two options which are g2 and g now sometimes or i would say all the time you would see this option even even though you want to do the g test it will still show you the g2 option now that is because uh you know people uh, well a lot of people are not aware of this uh, so when you're doing your g test let's say it's closer to the expiry date and you're not confident you haven't driven on the highway and you're not confident about passing the g test you have only one attempt and you're not confident so what you can do is you can go you can redo the g2 test and get your expiry extended to five years yes i'm not kidding you can do the g2 test again and have it extended to five years and versus you know trying to attempt the g test and fail and go back to g1 test and not be able to drive the car for some time so that option is always there a lot of people are not aware of that so now that you're aware you can pass the word you can educate other people also well so let's say in this case uh, you know you're trying to book the g test or g2 test whatever it is when you click on that button and you click on the uh, continue button it will bring you to this page where you can select the the drive test center where you want to do the test well you have no restrictions whatsoever in terms of doing the test at a particular location you're if you're in ontario you can do the test anywhere in ontario so um usually people like to book 
in uh, locations that are far iso in isolated areas where there's less traffic so <clears throat> yeah feel free to pick any location and uh, once you have picked up the location when you click on that location what you can do it, when you when you click on that it will take when you click on the location it will bring you to this page which will show you the calendar now here everything is grayed out we don't see anything for may now let's see if there's anything in june there's nothing for june either let's see if there's anything in july so guelph is really really booked nothing for july either so right now i'm in may and trying to book for uh, something uh, book a g test and there's nothing available before the 22nd of august that's really crazy so so okay so if there is anything available you will see um then the dates like this they're like you know popping up and they're not grayed out so when you click on that link it will activate the continue button you click on the continue button and it will bring you to this page where you you can select what time you want to do the test so whatever time you're uh, comfortable doing um, you you can pick that time time slot and uh, you click on that you click on continue and then it will bring you to the payment page now this is where it will show you how much you need to pay so sometimes if you're booking the G2 test and if you've already paid the G2 fee, it will show you zero dollars here. Now you see the booking fee, it says 89.25. It also gives you the drive test center, um, what date, what type of test, what time and everything. Now you see this part, book and pay now is grayed out. It's not activated because we haven't checked this box yet. So when you check that this box, check here if you read and agree, uh, with the terms and conditions when you check that box it will activate the book and pay now button when you click on that button it will take you to the page where you can enter the credit card information and book your vote test so that is the final page i'm not going to go there uh, because i'm not booking this test it's just uh, for a demonstration so that's that about uh, booking the road test it's not very difficult friends now the same applies for rescheduling a road test if you want to reschedule a road test you do the same thing so it's that straightforward so i hope you liked this video and if you did like this video then please make sure you hit the like button and you share it with people who who want to know how to book the road test and please feel free to leave any comments that you have um or you know something as simple as how you like my videos what, what do you think about my videos? Should I be making more videos like, of the sort? Well, if you do think uh, whatever comes to your mind, just write it down in the comment box and uh, I'll try to address uh, your, your um, comments. Thank you very much for being such a great audience and I'll see you again with more educative videos related to driving.